Hi, welcome back to WolfMix 101. Looking at the WolfMix W1 DMX controller and the simple steps of how to program it. We're gonna jump in with the next lesson and this one's quite an important one for people who are setting up for more weddings, family occasions, etc. The last thing anybody wants is moving heads all over the dance floor, all over the crowd, and more to the point, wasting the beams when the moving heads are facing all the other way around and looking at the DJ. Because let's face it, we're the last people that we want to highlight. So, this is how you restrict the movement on the moving heads. If we go over like this, what I've done is I've turned the display down a little bit on the box so that you can actually read what's there. The only problem is you can just see the highlighter bar moving around. But believe me, when the display is up and you're working on it at home, you can see that highlighter bar. So start from the beginning, that's the page that we start on. You can see my visualizer over there on screen and you'll see how this works. So what you want to do is go into fixtures again, which is what you do whenever you want to alter anything in the fixtures, add or remove fixtures. We move the highlight bar down so that we highlight the moving heads that we want to um, position. We're gonna cheat and do them all at once. And so if we highlight the one, you can see it jump into place on the visualizer. Two, three, there's eight movers in this scene. And you can see each one get picked up. There we go, there's the last one. Now what you'll notice on the top of the box is these changed over the top when you highlighted them. And you've got this, looks like a little target. And if you press that, I've already set these up. This square is usually, if I grab hold of it, all the way over here, all the way over here, and fills the whole screen. If you imagine, that is your target area in the middle of the screen there. So the first thing we do, we've got a button here that's got an arrow pointing either way. And if we press that, you'll see that the moving heads are moving from side to side. So the easiest way to start is press the up and down arrow you can see them all jump into line and what they're doing is showing you how far they pan and tilt. This is the tilt on it, the up and down arrows, and we don't want to waste those heads all the way back there on the back of the stage. So if we grab this square at the bottom with your finger, push it up, you'll see that they stop moving as far as the back of the stage. And now if we move forwards, that's kind of a dance floor area. So that's that part set. The next thing we want now is the left and right movement and we can see them swinging all the way around again. So if we take this square here and we move it into the boards of the middle so that we stop losing the beams so far around, you can see them just stopping at the edge of the room. And you do the same with this square here there we go, you can see our target areas move for the moving heads. And now, when they've got any movement in them, all they're going to do is move in that part of the target area or your dance floor. Imagine that as your dance floor or the room in front of you. You can even, if we want to keep them out of people's eyes, we can just bring the top pan down by grabbing that top square and moving that in so that again, nobody is getting an eyeful. It just keeps them right down on the dance floor. There you go. Okay then, hope to see you on the next lesson and we'll catch you soon.